Well, the High Court in Bulugwane in Bopa has sentenced two prominent businessmen and their accomplices to prison. Marcus Mahato, Joshua Shago, along with their accomplice uh, Kumbelo Mabiramisa and Amanda Mahato, were found guilty on various charges, including murder of Ronnie Mahato. He was killed at Shago's house in Sishejo for business rituals back in 2006. He was kidnapped in Soshanguve, north of Pretoria, with the help of Amanda Mahato and subsequently killed at Shago's house in Sishejo. Now, he was dismembered and his body parts were buried at the uh, business premises of Shlago and Mahato. The SABC News reporter Gogetso Mutau has more. The High Court in Bulogwani has handed down the sentences in what has been described as the ritual murder in Bulogwani. We understand that the two businessmen, a prominent businessman in Bulogwani, Marcus Mahato and Joshua Sako, were sentenced to effectively 22 years in prison for killing um, Rodi Mahato in Sishiro in Bulogwani. Um, Rodi Mahato, we understand that he was kidnapped in Soshanguve and subsequently killed at Sako's house in Sishiro, where his body was dismembered in order to, you know, strengthen the their businesses uh, to do the rituals to strengthen their businesses and we understand that uh, they've been facing three counts of murder actually three charges one is murder kidnapping and defeating the ends of justice along with their um, other two accomplices which is um, Amanda Mahato and Kumbelo Mabirimisa so we understand that Mahato was sentenced to um, 22 years for murder um, uh, along with Sago um, and also they were also sentenced for seven years for kidnapping and four years for defeating the ends of justice. While we understand that Kumbel Mabirimis was also sentenced for murder, 22 years for murder and only seven years for, actually four years for defeating the ends of justice. While Amanda Mahat was only, you know, sentenced for seven years for kidnapping because uh, he wa she was acquitted of murder and also the, you know, defeating the ends of justice. But to get more reaction on this issue, I'm now joined here by the NPA spokesperson in Nimpopo, Mashudu Malabijangi. Thank you so much for joining us here on SABC News. This matter, we understand that it dates back to 2006. These people have committed this crime in 2006. 17 years later, now the matter has been settled and they have been you know, sentenced to prison. What's your reaction as the NPA? As NPA, we welcome the sentence, hoping that this type of sentence will indeed send a strong message to all the offenders. We're talking about the ritual murder, which was very difficult because there was no key witnesses and then the people who participated and killing uh, Mahadu, they are the one who come out and talk uh, and, and tell the truth about it. So we really appreciate the key witnesses in our cases. Mm. We understand that the court has also mentioned that the NPA should not prosecute, you know, uh, Madume Siboni and Gabriel Matli because they were they were part of the people who actually killed Rony Mahadu. But they came forward with, with the information that actually assisted the police and also assisted the NPA to prosecute this, um, you know, um, you know this uh, uh, conviction convicts now as we speak. Um, wh what is going to happen going forward? Yeah, it's true because the key witnesses that the one who came up with the, with the information, it was difficult for them. They even testify in court that they were afraid of their life. Mm. Oh, Mashudu, thank you so much for joining us here on SABC News. That is the NPA spokesperson in Limpopo, Mashudu Malabijangi. But I also want to bring in the sister of uh, Rodi Mahat who was killed uh, for this ritual purposes. And we understand that up to this day, his remains have not been found. Uh, it's Megatrud Lubawa. Thank you so much for speaking to us here on SABC SABC News. Finally, 17 years after the death of your brother who was kidnapped in Soshanguve uh, for ritual purposes, now the matter has been settled in court. These uh, perpetrators have been now found guilty and sentenced to jail. What's your reaction as the family? On behalf of the family, I would like to submit a word of gratitude to all our supporters before I can get into the real matter. All our supporters, the policemen, General Manala and the team members, the prosecution authority, uh, Judge Miller and the team members, really, we are really blessed that you made it thus far. Today is the day that the Lord has made. You know the Lord, our mighty God, has planned this from, the, from long and we have been journeying with him. So we knew already that at the end of the day they will be prosecuted. We really welcome the prosecution 
the judgment or whatever the sentence and we say others can take uh, examples in this matter that nobody is above the law Mm. Thank you. Yes, we understand that the two um, accomplices here, the convicts here, are your cousins. We, we speak about Marcus Mahato, the prominent businessman, um, you know, who owns, you know, lodges and, um, you know, other businesses. And Amanda Mahato, we understand that uh, the two are actually siblings and they are both your cousin and also the cousin to your brother, the deceased. What is the family saying about all this issue that now one of their family members or their relatives is being invo- has been involved in the murder of Roni Mahato. No, that one we have made peace with it. We have discarded them as I've already mentioned that they are out of our family. They no longer belong there. And the remains, we, co- we confirm undoubtedly so. They will bring our remains. And at the end of the day, we'll bury our brother with dignity. Mm. And then maybe finally, when I, co- I conclude with you, it's been a long journey. Um, how did this whole issue affect the family? Because obviously, you know, taking 17 years to get justice is not a child's play, isn't it? Yes, it was a very long journey. But because we are Christians, our Lord journeyed with us. Yes, somewhere there were potholes, but we just succumb. We just left our, lifted our heads above so that we cannot drown. Hence we are here. The end product is 33 years imprisonment. Mm. Well, thank you so much. That is the uh, family spokesperson, Meke Trudliboro, who is also the sister of the deceased Roni Mahat. We understand that up to this day, as um, we are saying, uh, that the family is still, you know, uh, adamant and hopeful that one day they'll be able to get the remains of Ronald Mahato and get to bury him with dignity. Because we understand that some of his body parts, which were dismembered, were buried in the business premises of these uh, convicts who have been, you know, sentenced to uh, 22 years for murder.